Hey everyone, it's Daniel Brother Bear Barris. In this next video, we'll be installing some management tools. So we'll be installing group policy management, DHCP DNS, ADDS tools. We'll also be installing Windows Deployment Server. And we'll make sure that we can manage all of those from our deployment server. Okay. So let's get started. First things first, I'm going to do a power configuration. And I'm just going to make sure that my screen doesn't turn off while I'm doing this. So change settings that are currently unavailable, change plan settings, change settings that are currently unavailable, and click never here to turn off display, save changes, and we can close power options. Now let's go down to start, click on settings. In personalization, I'm going to go down here to start. I'm going to click more pins and I'm going to uncheck a few of these boxes. Okay, there we go. I'm going to click close settings and now I'm going to right click start, click terminal admin. You'll see we're installing these features, group policy management, DHCP server, DNS, ADDS tools, and then WDS along with the management tools for that. So I'm going to copy from the end of line 56 up to line 40 and paste that there. Give that a few moments and I'll be back when it's ready. Okay, and those all went through just fine. We're going to type enter to exit. Okay, now we'll click start. And we're going to pin these to our start menu. So active directory, users and computers. We'll click pin to start, go here, type DNS, same thing, pin to start, DHCP, pin to start, group policy management, pin to start, and Windows deployment services, pin to start. If we click here, now we'll see our tools are here. Click Active Directory Users and Computers, click View, advanced features. Then we're going to right click on MDT lab, click properties. Following along here, security tab, click add. And we're going to type svc.task sequence. And that's our service account we created in that previous video. Check names, click OK. We're going to give full control. Then we're going to click advanced. We'll go over here click on it, click edit. We're going to click on applies to this object and all descendant objects. Click OK, apply, OK, and OK. Then we'll click view, advanced features again. Now we're going to expand MDT, expand domain controllers, click on domain controllers. You can move this over so you can see more. We're going to click view, Add remove columns. Remember we added that operating system column in our first uh, domain controller video. So move that over. And then if we click domain controllers, you can see now it shows our operating system. We're going to do the same thing down here with member servers. View, add remove columns, add, go back to member servers, and you'll see that's there. Now you can notice that there's no description here. We're going to change that in just a moment. Okay, we can close Active Directory Users and Computers. And we're going to go to DHCP, Start. I'm going to right click here, click Add Server. This server, Browse, I'm going to type dc01.mdt.lab, check names, click OK, OK. I'm going to expand it, and I'm going to then click on it and click right click authorize and you'll see it's red here but if i right click again and refresh everything turns green okay we've authorized that server now we're going to right click on ipv4 new scope next we're going to call this the mdt lab scope in our start i address it's 192 168 25 you can press the space bar here 50 then 192 168 25 space, 254, you can tab, make sure it's 24 bits, that's fine. Next, 
next, next. Yes, I want to configure these options now. Next, we're going to put our default gateway here. So 192, 168, 25, space one. Click add, next, 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 and next. Now we finish. Now we're going to click on server options, configure options, go to the advanced tab. If you're following along right here. In the drop down vendor class, we're going to go to Microsoft Windows 2000 options, 001. And I'm going to change this to a two. Click OK. That'll disable NetBIOS. And we'll close DHCP. Now we're going to go to DNS just to verify our reverse lookup zone that we uh, created earlier. Say the following computer, dc01.mdt.lab. OK. Double click here. We'll see our forward lookup zones and then our reverse lookup zone. We're going to click on that reverse lookup zone and you'll see our gateway, our domain controller and our MDT server. Okay, we can close that. Now we're going to go to group policy management. Okay, we're going to expand forest, expand domains, MDT lab and click on group policy objects. I'm going to right click on my default domain controllers policy. I'm going to click right click edit. And up here, we're going to go to policies, administrative templates, system, and go down to net logon. Okay, you'll see this allow cryptography algorithms compatible with Windows NT4. We're going to click disabled. Okay. And we can close that window. There we go. Now we're going to go to the default domain policy, right click on that, edit, policies, windows settings, security settings, local policies, security options. We're going to go down here to control the user account control behavior of the elevation prompt for administrators in admin approval mode. Click on that. Elevate without prompting, click OK. We're going to go to Windows Settings and a Windows Defender Firewall, which we're going to see here. Okay, Click here, expand it, expand that. Click on Inbound Rules. You'll see the ones that we created earlier and the Outbound Rule that we created earlier. So in Inbound Rules, we're right here. We're going to create the ICMP for ping, so New Rule. Custom, next, all programs in the protocol type ICMP version 4, next, and this next, allow the connection, next, we're going to call this inbound ICMP v4, and click finish, okay, now we're going to do the same thing with the outbound, so click, new rule, custom, next, all programs, ICMP version four, next, next. Make sure allow the connection, next, next. We'll call this outbound ICMP v for version four. Okay, good. And now we'll click on inbound rules again, new rule. And these are going to be predefined rules. So the first one we're gonna do is the file and printer sharing. So go to here, predefined, next, next and finish okay the second one is remote desktop so right click new rule predefined go down to remote desktop next next and finish and the last one is windows management instrumentation or wmi new rule there we go down at the bottom and look for windows management instrumentation there we go next Next and finish. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to policies, administrative templates. Okay. There we go. And we're going to go to system, log on. Okay. We're going to click on setting up here to sort it. And then we're going to always wait for network at computer startup and log on. Click enabled. Okay, 
Now we're going to go to Internet Explorer. Okay. So where are we at? We're going to go to Windows Components down here. Internet Explorer, Internet Control Panel, Security Page. You can expand this if you'd like. And these two, three right here, we're going to double click Enabled. You can move this up. Same thing for this one, Enabled, Enabled. Okay, now we're going to go to Site to Zone Assignment List, okay, which is here. We'll click Enabled, Show, double click on the value name, asterisk.mdt.lab. You can tab, then type 1, tab again, OK, and OK. And then turn on Automatic Detection of Intranet, Enabled. This is mostly for our shares, so that it doesn't give us errors, okay? We can close Group Policy Management, okay? Right-click on Terminal Admin, Start Terminal Admin, okay? We're going to now add that description to our MDT server in Active Directory. Press Enter. There we go. And if you want to check that, you can go to, back to Active Directory Users and Computers, and you can see it now says Deployment Server. Okay, we can say GP update force to do that. Give that a moment. And there we go. And I will just log off. And now I'm going to log into each of these machines and do the same thing. Okay, we'll just pull down the new group policy. go. So GP update force on this one. Same thing here. Give that a moment to pull down. Log off. And log off. And now we're ready for our sixth video. I'll see you then.